I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a previous test question on probability where the odds are given to us. The question here is Anil and Ben are in finals of a badminton tournament. If the odds in favor of Ben beating Anil are 5 to 4, what is the probability that Anil will win in a best of 5 tournament? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's understand the odds in favor of statement. It says if the odds in favor of Ben beating Anil are 5 to 4. That really means that Ben will win 5 games. That means that means 5 to 4, that is the odds. That really means that probability for Ben to win are 5 out of total of 9, right? 5 out of total of 9. And for Anil to win, so we can write this as probability for Anil to win is 4 out of 9. So that is how directly you can translate odds in favor of events into probability, right? Now, in best of five, a person will win if that person wins three games. So what we will do here is we'll make a tree diagram. So let's say game one. In game one, either Anil could win or Ben could win, right? So we'll go Anil or Ben. So these are the two possibilities. So let us say if Anil wins, then what is the probability? For Anil, it is 4 out of 9, right? So it is 4 out of 9. So it is 4, I mean, it is 4 out of 9, correct? For Ben to win, it is 5 out of 9. Now let us say this is the first game A and B and now again the second game. So in that game probability for Anil to win will again be 4 out of 9 and the possibility is that Penn may win, right? So, so that could be the scenario. So every time either one of them can win the game for Anil to win, it is 4 out of 9. And for Ben to win, it is 5 out of 9. Correct? So, so that becomes 3 ways. I mean, then, then we go one more game. Now again, there are 2 chances. I mean, let me draw Ben with orange color, right? So, so here also we'll do Ben with orange and Anil with green. So in this case, 4 out of 9 is the probability of Anil winning. So we are continuing with this tree diagram in the fashion shown. Now as soon as Anil wins 3 games, Anil wins the set, right? So that is one way of winning. And let me write this set as a first combination as 4 out of 9 times 4 out of 9 times 4 out of 9. So basically, in this combination, it is all three games won by Anil. Now let's look into the next loop, where Anil wins first two, loses one. Now there is a possibility of his winning and also a possibility of losing. So if he wins, that will be the third game victory, right? And the probability of this is 4 out of 9. So in this case, we see that the third game is 1 after losing 1 in between. Now, Ben winning is always 5 out of 9. So if I follow this path, what I get here is a combination which is 4 out of 9 whole cube, right? He has to win 3 times. So I'm writing this 3 as 4 out of 9 whole cube. And once Ben wins, so it would be 5 out of 9, correct? 
This is when the case is anil anil ben anil, right? So ben anil. Now one, two, three, four. Final game is left. At this stage, there is a possibility of anil winning, right? So and of course you can lose also. So in that case again we have a possibility of winning right so there is a win one two three times on the wins after losing two times so there was a tie before that so this particular probability will be four out of nine whole cube times five out of nine whole square right so this is when anil anil ben ben and then finally anil right so these are the probabilities which i'm going to add at the end you can continue with this and find your result, right? Now, let's look into this path, Anil, Ben, Anil. Now again, we could have Anil or Ben. Now, whenever Anil wins, the probability is four out of nine. And for Ben, it is five out of nine, right? So we can write this four out of nine, five out of nine. And we could complete this as A and B. Now that gives you another victory, which is one, two, three anil wins and one Ben, right? So three anil wins, one Ben. So this is kind of same thing. Uh, so let me write this as four out of nine whole Q times one Ben, which is five out of nine. And we got this result by A, B, A, A. Now let's look into the other loop, which is we have to play the next game since it's a tie, right? So it's a tie. So it becomes kind of like this, where there is a possibility of Anil winning. Four out of nine. This is five out of nine. And that comes after a tie that is A, B, A, B, A, right? So we get A, B. A, B, A, so which is 4 out of 9 whole cube times 5 out of 9 square. Now in this path, Anil is losing. Now let's look into the next possibility of winning. So we have A, B, B, and now again, there's a possibility of Anil winning or losing. So we have to continue this path. I hope you get the idea. So it is 4 out of 9 and 5 out of 9 for Anil and Ben. So that seems to be a tie at this stage. So, so for a win, the last game is being played where if Anil wins, he wins the tournament, right? So, so it is 4 out of 9 and 5 out of 9. So that is A, B, B, A, A, right? So we give four out of nine whole Q times five out of nine since two B's square. So it is A, B, B, A, A, right? Now, now let's look into the last part. We have already exhausted all the possibilities here of winning. Now, if B wins three times, B has won the game, correct? So in this part, one, two, three, four, five. B has won three games. Now let's look into this possibility. So here again, first game has won by Ben. The second game may be by Anil or Ben. Now that gives you four out of nine and five out of nine. So, so again, we can say it is A or B from this point. Okay, A or B. Now, if A wins, it is kind of a tie here. So we can go for further. I mean, B and A, right? So one game has been won by Ben and three by Anil. So that is a victory. So here we get one, four over nine, whole cube times five over nine and 
it is like B A A A, right? Now, if twice an ill has one, there is a possibility. So we have played one, two, three, four, and the fifth key could be a win for an ill, right? So in this path, we again get a possibility of winning. So it is, if you see this path, so every time Anil wins, it is 4 out of 9 and 5 out of 9 for Ben. So now again, we have a victory. We have B-A-A-B-A, -A -A, right? So in which case, 3 and 2, so 3 and 2. So let me add more options here. So which is 4 out of 9 whole cube times 5 out of 9 whole square, right? So that is the one which you're talking about. So B, A, A, B, A, right? So which is B, A, A, B, A. If you follow this path B, A, A, B, and B, then three Bs. Now let's look into the last path, which is which Anil could win after two Bs. If Ben wins, then Ben has already won, clear, and that is A. Now at this stage, two losses for Anil. So, so to win, he needs two wins, right? I mean, so that means Anil and Ben. Now, if I saw B, B, A, B, Ben is one. Now, there is only one more chance here to win, right? So, so that gives you the last victory. So, B, B, and triple A. Now, you can see that this is like four out of nine, four out of nine, four out of nine. 5 out of 9, 5 out of 9, this is B, 5 out of 9, correct? So the last victory is 2 Bs and 1 A, 3 As. So let me write down the last one also here. So plus uh, 4 out of 9 whole cube times 2 losses, which is 5 out of 9 whole square, right? Which came by the combination of B, B, A, A, A. So these are all the possibilities. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ways in which there could be an upset in favor of Anil. Is it okay? Now if you add them, you get your probability of Anil uh, winning the tournament. So for easy calculations, what you observe here is that we have four over nine whole cube in all the terms correct and here we have 1 plus 5 over 9 now 5 over 9 is is how many times let's see that one time two time three time is 5 out of 9 right so so you can actually use calculator to calculate this uh, and uh, 5 out of 9 square is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 times, right? So we can add all these terms and get our answer. So what we get here is, I can take 4 out of 9 common. So I don't have space here. So what I'll do is, I can write here as 4 over 9 cube as common. And then add 1 plus 3 times 5 over 9, right? So there are 3, 5 out of 9. So we can 3 times 5 over 9 plus we have 5 times 5 square over 9, which is 25 over 81. Does it make sense? So that becomes your, your answer. Is it okay? So that is how we can actually get our answer. So let's calculate this and figure it out. So what, what we have here is, let me do the inside thing first, which is one plus 
15 divided by 9 and then we'll add 5 times 25 divided by 81 equals to 341 over 81 right and we're going to multiply this by uh, within brackets 4 divided by 9 whole cube and that gives us 0 0.3695 so let me write down the number which I have here 36959 did you see that so that becomes the answer of probability for Anil winning perfect so I hope the steps are absolutely clear it requires intricate combination of this winning and losing tree diagram I have very limited space and so it may look cumbersome however the method is clear I hope right? so that is the probability so I hope that's clear feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thank you and all the best